Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I've been meaning to make this video for a little while, just haven't gotten around to it, and essentially it's a PSA to beware of bad USB Type-C to Type-A cables. USB Type-C is becoming more and more popular as it becomes the hardware standard for charging and data transfer. Chromebooks, MacBooks, phones, and tablets already have the USB Type-C input. Now, some of these devices did not come with a USB Type-C to Type-A cable. Type-A, probably what you're familiar with, what's on your desktop, what's on your laptop, and that's a problem. For example, the Nexus 5X did not come with one of these cables. So if you want to plug it in your PC to maybe back up some of your files, maybe even just charge it, you cannot do so without going out and actually buying one of these. For, uh, this is actually a boot remedy cable, what I've been using to transfer files to charge to my desktop from Type-C to Type-A. I'll link to it in the description. Now you need to be aware of type C to type A cables. Don't just go buy the cheapest ones. Do a little research because they can actually cause permanent damage to your device. Google engineer Benson Lang, hopefully I pronounced that right, has been doing a very good job of keeping people informed about this issue. Now, for example, your type C slot, maybe on your phone, can be made for three amps of power. Now, some of your type A slots, such as in your laptop or desktop, can be spec'd at two amps or even less than that. Now, if you have a bad cable, what it's gonna do is not recognize this, and your phone's going to try and pull three amps of power, and that's going to actually cause permanent damage, and it has been shown to cause permanent damage as well. Now, it's not necessarily as much a problem with Type-C to Type-C cables, because they're usually spec'd at about the exact same, but you always do wanna be careful. You always wanna do your research, especially when it comes to your Type-C to Type-A cables. Like I said, this is the Boot Remedy one. I'll link, this is what I've been using. I'll link to it in the description of the video. But anyways, just want to let you guys know about this issue. You might not have a Type-C device now, but you might in the near future. So just for future reference, if you're looking to buy a Type-A to Type-C USB cable, just be careful, do your research, etc. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. More to come, click that subscribe as well. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.